Hi everyone, I'm Rachel from Move Studio and I usually teach TRX on Fridays at 9.30 at Move and so I thought I would do for you a TRX based workout but without the TRX straps. So um, all you need today is yourself and a towel if you have one and if you want to add some weights to it if you don't have weights you can use cans of soup, cans of uh, tomato sauce whatever you happen to have in your house. Or you can use nothing, no weights, no cans, nothing. So I'm gonna show you a picture of what we're going to do and then we will just start working on it. I'm going to assume that you've done some warm up. If you haven't, no big deal. The first exercise we do is kind of a great workout for your whole body or a warm up for your whole body. So you can just use that to um, kind of warm up. So here's a picture of what we're doing. I will also put this in the comments underneath the video so that if you have any questions, you can obviously refer back to that. I'm gonna go through all of the exercises first so you kind of know what's coming and know what we're doing. So we're gonna kind of build this as a ladder. We're gonna do all of those exercises nine times, then all of those exercises 12 times, then 15 times, then back down the ladder for 12 and then nine. It's a great total body workout. It hits every part that you probably want to hit and um, will leave you hopefully feeling maybe a little bit sore, but having a, a really great um, overall feel to the workout. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to take this back here with me, maybe. The first thing we're going to do is just body weight squats. So you're just going to squat down. You want to keep your chest up, scoot your butt back. I will uh, go sideways for you. Keep your knees over your ankles. So the first thing we're doing is a squat. If you want to add some cardio component to it, you can do a squat jump if you'd like to do that. The second thing we're going to do, you can use your weights, you can use your soup cans, you can use nothing if you want to. So I'm going to use just light three pound weights. So the work, the second exercise is to bring your arms up to an eye so you look like a gigantic eye. You want to keep your shoulders out of your ears, bring them down, take them up to a Y, bring them down, take them up to a T, bring them down. When you go out to your T, you want to make sure that you keep your arms slightly in front of you so you can see them out of the corners of your eyes. And they're slight, so they're slightly in front of you and no higher than shoulder height. So again, that's up to an I, up to a Y, and out to a T. The third exercise is curtsy squats. For the, my note at the bottom that I showed you before I started was on the nine and the 12, you're gonna keep your right, right foot planted and you're gonna curtsy with your left. You have a couple of options here. You can curtsy down and bring your foot up and leave it touching the ground. You can curtsy down and do some balance. You can mix it up, you can do both. Whatever your body feels today, whatever it needs today. So the first nine and 12 and 15 are all gonna be on your right leg. When you get to 15, you're gonna do the right leg down and then you're gonna switch and you'll do the left leg down. So you'll do two for that 15. The next thing is bicep curls. Now again, you can use weights, you can use your soup cans, you can use nothing. So you're just gonna bicep curl, really easy. Just focus on making the movement come from here. Tighten your core, keep that tight always. The next thing is rows. Sorry, same thing. You can use weights or nothing. You're going to kind of get into that squat position where you want your knees bent with your knees over your ankles and you're gonna pull up, up through your back. Keep your core tight and you wanna feel this in all of the muscles that go right down your spine. The next thing we have um, are oblique twists. Now you're gonna to need to get down on the ground for that and you can use a, a weight if you want or you can use nothing. Just focus on twisting the obliques. So I will show you that right now. For that, you're gonna do a total, nine total, each side equals one. So um, it will be, I hope you can still see like this. So you can keep your feet down on the ground if you want to, you can pick them up, but you're going to twist from your obliques. One, two, 
three, and so on. The next thing we're going to do is a lunge. You're keeping it on that same leg that you started with, so a right lunge. You're gonna keep your right leg down, and you're gonna lunge back and up. And again, if you want to add some balance to it, you definitely can. You wanna keep your front knee right above your ankle and squat down, keeping your weight in the heel of that foot. And so if you wanna balance, just come on up like that. The next thing we're gonna do is tricep kickbacks. Again, you can use a weight, soup cans, or nothing. You're going to get into that same kind of position that you had when you did the rows. So you're gonna be like this with your arms down. You're gonna pull your elbows up by your sides and push your arms back. So you should feel it right in the back of your arm. And when you get to that back position, if you squeeze up just a little bit more, you'll really feel it. The next thing we're gonna do is deadlifts. Now you have a couple of options here. You can use your towel. You could use the soup cans, you could use the weights, you can use nothing. Um, Emily did it with a towel the other day and I really liked it. So that's what I'm gonna use today. But you wanna have a slight bend to your knees and then you're going to just go straight down your legs with the towel and back up. When you get to the top, you wanna really like pinch your cheeks together and pull up. So down and pull up. The last thing is mountain climbers. Again, those are another exercise where both sides are gonna count as one. So you're down on the ground, kind of the plank position, and then you're like this. Each leg, each leg counts as one. So if you guys are ready, we will start the workout. I'm gonna get some credit for this. Let me just start that and then we will get going. Okay, so again, the first one is squats. We're gonna do nine squats. Six, seven, eight, nine. The second thing is the I, the Y, the T. You are doing that for a total of nine times. If you have a bad shoulder, my left one doesn't like to work the same as my right one, you may wanna take the weight component out of it and just do your best. So that was one. That's three. seven. And this is nine. Great job. Those are not my favorites. So next is your curtsy squat. You're again, you're going to stand on your right leg and curtsy behind you and stand up. Curtsy behind you and stand up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. All right, next is your rows. No, I lied. Next is your bicep curls. So again, you're gonna stand, you always kind of want a slight bend in your knee, don't lock out your knees. Make sure you kind of tuck that pelvis under so that you engage your core and bicep curl for nine. Six. And nine, nice job. So the next one we're doing is the rows. So again, you want to kind of sit back, knees bent, knees over your ankles, and you're just pulling up. Five. Four. 
Nice job. Next is the oblique twist. You're going to do a total of nine, so it'll be nine on each side, because each side counts as one. Nice job. Okay. The next thing we're doing is the lunge. You can stand on your right leg again, which I've just realized I keep saying that, but to you, you're probably seeing my left leg, but stand on your right leg and then you're lunging back. You don't want your legs to go directly behind each other. That won't help you with any balance. You wanna act like you're on train tracks. So when you lunge back, you're gonna lunge your left leg back so that it's kind of to the side, like directly back from where it would be on your body. Don't go behind your front leg. If that makes sense. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nice job. So after the lunges are the tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna use my soup cans for this one, or tomato sauce. So again, you're getting into that same position you had for the row. You wanna pull your arms up so they're right by your side. Keep those upper arms locked into your side, and you're kicking back. Six, seven, eight, Nine. Nice job. All right. The next thing we have is the deadlifts. I'm going to use my towel for that, like I said before. And again, you want to have a slight bend to your knees and then just take that towel right down the front of your, of your legs, down your shins as far as you can go, and then pull it back up. Seven, eight, nine. Nice job. All right, the last thing we have is mountain climbers. Again, both sides equal one. So if you're counting both legs, you're gonna count to 18. Otherwise, you'll just count to nine. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact same set of exercises, but 12 times each. So, we're gonna start with our squats. One, two, six, Perfect. The next thing is that I, Y, T. I know this takes a little longer because it's three kind of exercises in one, but I know you can do it. Just keep your shoulders out of your ears and make sure that you can see your hands at all times. So you don't want to take them behind your head at all. Six, halfway there. Nine. 
One more. Nice job. Those are not my favorites at all. All right, curtsy squats for 12. You're staying on that same leg that you worked the first time. So again, curtsy and up and up. If you wanna add that balance in, feel free. A little hold up at the top. Eight. Great job. All right, after that is your bicep curls. Weights, soups, soup cans, or nothing, it's up to you for 12. Halfway there. Great job. All right, so after the bicep curls, we have our rows, which I'm gonna turn sideways for those, for 12. And you wanna do this, so it's like when you pull your arms up, you're pinching a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Really nice job. Next is obliques. And those are our twists on the floor. You're gonna do them for 12 or 24 if you're counting both sides. Nice work. All right. After obliques, you have the lunges. So you're gonna stay on that right leg and you're gonna lunge back with your left. If you wanna make it a little more difficult, you could grab a paper plate to slide your leg back and forth. That gives you a little more element of instability and works a couple more leg muscles. So I'm not gonna do that today, but I am going to definitely get these 12 lunges in. And again, you can balance at the top if you want to. Four more left. Great job. All right, you'd think I'd know this by now. Next are your triceps. You're gonna stand like you did for your row. Knees slightly bent, pull your arms up so that your top of your arms are right locked into your side and push back and feel that tricep muscle right back here when you get to the top. Nice work. Okay, next is deadlifts. So again, I'm gonna use my towel. When you use your when you use a towel, you kind of wanna act like you're trying to pull it apart without, obviously without pulling it apart, but that'll give you a little more work in your back also. So let's go for 12. One more. Nice work. All right, the last thing in this set of 12 is our mountain climbers. So remember that's 12, or if you're counting both sides, it's 24. Great 
great job. If you want to grab some water, this next set for the 15 is a little bit tougher because you're going to do the 15 that is a single leg workout on both legs. So grab some water and let's get going. Or drop your phone and have to pick it back up. See, I did that on purpose so you guys got a little extra break. Okay, so now we're gonna do 15 squats. Oh my goodness, I'm really sorry. I don't know why it's not staying now. I jinxed it. Okay, let's try that again, 15 squats. Five more. All right, perfect. You're gonna do that. I'm gonna try to adjust this. You're gonna do that I, Y, and T again. My shoulders are getting really tired, so I'm gonna do it without any weights. So for 15 total. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's try this again. Round six. Brian. Nine. I think that's 12. One more. Great job. Sorry about the camera and um, me losing track of where we were in that. I apologize. So now we have curtsy squats. We're gonna curtsy on our right leg like we were doing, and then we're gonna curtsy 15 on our left leg to start our climb back down the ladder. Halfway. Great job on that side. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side. This is a brand new leg that hasn't been worked like this before, so just take it slow. Again, you can curtsy and come out to the side. You can curtsy and come up for balance. Your choice. Halfway. Nice job. All right. Next is bicep curls for 15. 
Again, weights, no weights, soup, whatever you want to use. Great job. All right, after biceps are our rows, I'm gonna keep the weights in my hand. Slightly bend over the flat back and you're gonna pull up. Pinch that pencil between your shoulder blade. Five more. All right, now we have our 15 oblique twists. For those, remember, you're counting 15 if you count both sides or you're counting to 30 if you're counting each side. Hopefully you can still see me. Great job. I think I'm gonna totally feel that in my obliques tomorrow. All right, next is our lunge. Now we're doing the 15 lunges on our right leg first, and then we'll do the 15 lunges on our left leg to bring it back down that side. So take your time, keep your body feeling good. So if something doesn't feel good here, just don't do it. I don't want anybody to get hurt. One more. Great job. Now you're gonna do it on the other leg. Again, take your time since this leg hasn't worked out as much as the right leg. Just go slow, do what's right for your body. This is also my, not my strong leg, so I tend to go a little slower anyways. Five more. One more. Nice job. All right, after the lunges, we have the tricep kickbacks. So you can grab your weights again or nothing. It's up to you. Get in that kind of flat back bent over position. You're gonna pull your arms up to your sides and kick back. Two more. Nice job. All right. Next, we're going to do the deadlifts. I'm going to use my towel again. You guys can use nothing. You can use the weights, soup cans, whatever you would like. For 15. Five more. Mm 
Nice job. Now we have the mountain climbers. So a total of 15, or if you're counting both sides, a total of 30. I'm gonna face sideways this time. Most people know what a mountain climber is, but on the off chance that you don't, I realize that facing you really doesn't give you an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> so hopefully you can see me, and then you're just gonna go for your, your 15. Nice job. All right, we're coming back down the ladder. So we have all of our exercises for 12 and then all of our exercises for nine and then we'll be done. So first thing is squats. Feel free to get water, wipe off sweat, whatever you need to do. And then we will start with our 12. That's it, that's 12. All right, your I, your Y, and your T again for 12. Take it at your pace. If something doesn't feel good, say going up to the I doesn't feel good, take that out. Just do the Y and the T. It is entirely your workout, so you do what you can do. Three down. This is six, so we're halfway there. Know if this is 12 so I'm doing one more just because I think I lost track which is par for the course I can never keep track so the next thing we have is our curtsy squats on our left leg so we're all done with the right leg we're gonna keep the left leg planted and curtsy back this way for 12 Nice job. All right, next is our bicep curls. Again, I know I keep saying it, but you can use your weights, no weights, your soup, whatever you'd like to do for 12. Halfway there. Great job. All right, next is our rows. Bend over, slight bend in your knees, and you're gonna pull up and pinch that pencil between your shoulder blades. Nice job. All right, next, oblique twists. So you're doing 12 if you're counting each side as one or 24 if you're gonna count each side separately.
Nice job. Okay, now we have the lunge on this foot. So we're going to keep this foot plant, your left foot planted. You're gonna lunge back with your right for 12. Three more. Nice job. Okay, after your lunges, you have your tricep kickbacks. So that same row position. Pull your arms up to your sides like you would in a row, and you're kicking back for 12. All right, deadlifts are next. I'm gonna use my towel again. And we have those for 12. Two more. Nice job. The last thing for this set of 12 is your mountain climbers. So remember, 12 total or 24 if you're counting each leg. Nicely done. All right. We have one round left. We're doing all the exercises nine times each, and then you'll be done. We'll do some stretching at the end, and um, you know, then you can go about your day. All right, so squats for nine. And at any point, if you need to stop, if you need water, obviously, I should have probably said this at the beginning, but um, go ahead and stop for nine. Nice job. Okay, the I, the I, the I, the Y, the T. Again, I'm gonna do it with no weights because it's bugging my shoulder. You guys can do it however you would like. If you need to take one of the exercises out, feel free. But let's go for nine. I think that was six. Eight. And nine. Great job. Okay, curtsies. We're staying planted on that left leg and we're gonna take our right leg behind us in a curtsy for nine. Perfect. All right, now we have our bicep curls followed by our rows. So if you want, again, you can get your weights and let's go for nine bicep curls. Great job. All right, now we have our rows. Remember to pinch that pencil, break down your spine when you pull up.
Great job. Okay, now we're to the ground for our ob oblique twists. We have nine or 18 if you're counting both sides. All right, great job. We are moving right along. So the next thing we have after our obliques are our lunges. We're gonna stay planted on that left leg and we're gonna step back with the right. Remember to keep them like train tracks. Don't take the right leg behind the left leg. Nice job. Okay, after our lunges are our tricep kickbacks. So you're gonna grab those weights again if you want them. You're gonna bend over, pull your arms up and kick back. Keep your arms as tight to your sides as you can so that you really feel that in your triceps. Nice job. Okay, we're almost done. You just have your deadlifts and then your mountain climbers. And then we are going to do a small little ab series and then stretch and be done. So deadlifts for nine. Great job. All right, mountain climbers are next. Nine, if you're counting each side as one, or 18. All right, nicely done. You've completed the whole ladder. So now I think we should do some, just a few abs. It's a great way to end out a class. I usually do that with all of our TRX classes that I teach. So the first thing I want you to do is we're gonna do a plank. Now you can do it on your hands, you can do it on your elbows. Just remember that your shoulders need to stay over your wrists, need to stay over your hands and push back into your heels. Don't pop your butt up in the air. You wanna have a nice clean line if you're looking at yourself sideways. So let's get down and do a plank and I'm gonna count it out you're just gonna hold that plank. Ten more seconds. Great job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, and I hope you can still see me, I'm kind of afraid to touch my camera again, is we're going to lay down on our back, and I want you on an exhale to bring your legs up into a shelf, and then you're gonna curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Keep your legs down by your side, or oh my gosh, keep your arms down by your sides, and you're gonna pulse forward for 10, then I want you to raise your arms up by your knees, pulse forward for 10, Raise your arms up above your head. Pulse forward for 10 or up for 10. Hands behind your head. Don't, don't hold your head up, but just keep them there. And then pulse from there for 10. So you're gonna do that whole way through. You can do it at your pace. I'm gonna do it, you can do it with me or as fast or as slow as you want, but don't speed through it because then you kind of lose the work that you're supposed to be doing. Hopefully you can still see me. Okay, so your legs up into a shelf. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Keep your arms down by your side, and you're going to pulse for 10. Okay. 
and up for 10. Nice job. All right, the next thing we're going to do is a side plank and we're gonna do oblique dips with our hips. So I will show you a couple different options. You can do a regular side plank on your elbow with both legs out or the way I like to do them because I feel just a little bit better about it is I bend my leg that's on the ground, the bottom leg. So I will show you both, assuming I can get up into both legs, and you can pick what you want to do, and then you're just going to dip your hips on that side for 10, flip over to the other side, do the same thing on the other side for 10. So if you're going to go up on both legs, you want your top leg forward, and then you lift up and hold there, and you're going to dip down. I don't like to do those. So I'm going to bend my bottom leg, push up through my obliques, and then dip. Perfect. Now roll to the other side. You're going to do the exact same thing. Whatever way feels good for your body, do that way. 10 dips. Really nice job. All right, let's see, what have we got? All right, we're gonna run through those abs one more time. Start with the 30 second plank, then do your crunches in the four different positions, 10 times each and 10 side dips and then we'll get a little bit of a stretch in. So go ahead and get set up for your plank and I will count it out for you. Ten seconds left. Great job. Okay, now we have those pulses. So again, you're bringing your legs up into a shelf. You are curling your head, neck, and shoulders up. You're pulsing with your hands by your side for 10, up towards your knees for 10, above your head for 10, and behind your head for 10. Take your time, do them right so that they're effective. And then once we're done with that, we'll move on. Nice job. Okay, when, when you're done with those pulses, you're gonna do your side plank series. So on your side, again, this is a modification with the bottom knee being bent. Just gonna raise your hand up. You're gonna do 10 dips. Pulling up through those obliques. Nice job. Do the other side now. All right. Nice job. So a couple different things we can do to stretch. You worked pretty much your entire body. So let's just start at the top and work our way down. Great stretch, pull your arm across your body like this. Don't push on your elbow, push either above it or below it and pull that arm across your body. 
It'll kind of stretch out your back a little bit. Definitely get your tricep right there. Nice job. Again, pull it behind you. Don't pull right on your elbow. Maybe grab above it. Nice job. Let's do the other arm. Pull that across your body. And pull it behind you. Nice job. So we did a lot with our legs today. A great, great um, stretch for your hips, for the backs of your legs. And if you probably need something to hold on to, and I'm sorry, this is probably gonna cut here, I'll go back here and hold on to the wall. So you're gonna wanna take either leg, cross it over your knee, above your knee, and sit back. Hold something for balance if you need to. This is gonna stretch everything out here through your hip. Give that a nice little count. Do the eight. And then stand up and you can do the other leg. Roll it through. Again, you will feel that all through here. If you want a deeper stretch, push down on your thigh. Don't push on your knee or sink a little lower. Oh, I didn't feel that. All right, thank you everybody. I will write in the comments the actual workout so that you have it. Sorry about the camera falling in the middle of the workout. I um, This is not my strong suit, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you still got a great workout in, and we'll see you next time.